Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I'm bringing one of my most favorite unboxings to share with you guys. I have the newest collection from Felicity Jane. This is Taylor, and she is so fun and so ready for fall. I love the color palette this month. There's lots of fun colors that you might not think about incorporating in your fall projects. So I'm excited to share this with you. I have the entire kit here, um, which is still available in the shop. I think this is a first. Normally when I do my unboxings the last couple months, the kit's already been sold out, but at this moment it's not sold out. So head put me on pause, head on over and order it before you miss out. I'll have all those links down below for you guys. There's also some new additional goodies outside of the kit as well. So be sure to check out some of the other new items that are in the shop. And I'll be sharing a few of those with you as well as some ideas um, for things to create with this kit. So let's dive right in. Let's start with the papers because I always kind of save those for last, but I think this will kind of set the tone for the color palette and the vibe that we have with the Taylor collection. So what I have here are the 12 by 12 paper pack. Uh, I actually have two of the paper packs. That way I can show you A side and B side at the same time. Um, but they are double-sided papers, just so you know. Um, one of the details that I love about the Felicity Jane papers are their branding strips. So the front side has, of course, the name, you know, and all of your standard brand information. Um, but the back side, they turn into um, designs as well. And so you can cut these and use them um, in your projects for layering or just other, you know, decorative elements in the projects that you're creating. So I love that. Uh, one other nice thing about the paper packs that they started doing, I think just this year, were these three by eight um, monthly marker cards. And so if you are working in one of the note to self planners um, or binders, they do have three by eight pocket sleeves that these fit into. And so you can either maybe you want to uh, photo journal multiple months in a binder. Maybe you're not a daily scrapbooker. Uh, that's me as much as I want to be a daily scrapbooker. That's not how my life rolls. So you could do several months in a binder and then separate those with the monthly markers. You could use it as a planner. They do have planner inserts. I think I have some right here some of the blank planner inserts. Um, and so then you can do multiple months of planning in one of those note to self binders. So lots of different things that you can do with these. You can also fussy cut them out and use them on a layout. The backside, I mean, this is just Felicity Jane's attention to detail is one of the things that caught my eye when I initially started creating with their products a couple years ago. Um, it's just her attention to every little thing. And so on the backside of these cards, you've got some space to do some journaling, um, some blank space if you want to do some stamping or some embellishing. Um, so maybe you want to journal at the end of the month or maybe set some goals for the month or maybe you want to list out all of your events. I don't know. There's so many different things that you could do on here as you're putting that into your um, note to self binder. So you even the backside has a little something on there. So the Taylor paper pack is going to give you October, November, and December. So one thing I do want to note right from the get-go, because I know I'm going to get questions because we're all starting to think about Christmas. And I get this question every year, what's up with the Christmas kit from Felicity Jane? So if you are a subscriber, a monthly subscriber, where you get auto-build and auto-shipped the kits, that subscription does not include the December collection. The December collection is always much, much larger than the other monthly collections. Um, so you do have to purchase that separate it is not part of your monthly subscription. Your monthly subscription is only January through November if you're doing, you know, the whole year. So this is going to give you your December. So you've got it covered even if you don't order the December kit. Uh, as far as sneak peeks, we wanted to give Taylor a moment to shine for October. And so stay tuned later on this month. We will be sharing some sneak peeks and things of the December collection. And then as soon as I have it in my hands, I will do an unboxing for you guys before December. That way you guys can start ordering and getting your products um, started and together because I know a lot of people do, you know, December daily and things like that for December. So we do want to give you plenty of time to order that. But we also want to focus on Taylor because she is the collection for the month of October. So stay tuned. We will be talking about December very soon. So you're going to get October, November and December in your paper pack, which is nice. Uh, I always say do not throw away your packaging. Use every little bit. So this comes in your packaging and it gives you a little peek into the different patterns of papers that are in the paper pack, but you can, you know, cut things out of here. I have a great idea for a tag ring with this kit. So you could cut, die cut tags out of here. You can use the scallop border pieces. So do not throw this away. It's scaled down 
prints. And so these are great if you're going to be doing alphabet dies or smaller um, tabs or things like that. You could still use that pattern, but it's scaled down, kind of like it would be on a six by six paper. So don't throw away your trash. So let's jump into the 12 by 12 papers. Again, they are double sided. One thing about their paper that's really nice is that it is thick. So if you've ever bought store brand pattern papers from the big box stores, you know what I'm talking about. It's super thin, not double sided. Um, and it's just flimsy. This is not like that. This holds its own. So if you were a card maker or something like that, this has enough heft to it that it will go through the mail no problem and you can use it without having to double up your papers. So you get to get more bang for your buck. Okay, so the first paper here we have is Floral and Stripe. Felicity Jean is known for their florals. So this is going to be our floral pattern for this month. I love the... um, what, what is the, What's the name? It's very folk art style... Um, pieces that you could fussy cut these out and use them as embellishments if you wanted. They're on a pink and white kind of grid. It almost has like a wallpaper feel to it. So it is a light pink in the background. And then the back side of the paper is just a black and white stripe. And then you've got your polka dot branding strip. So typically with the papers, it is a more bold color or print on the front and then something more neutral on the back side of these papers. So here is plaid and tiny floral. Uh, fall is my favorite time to create. I love all of the textures. Um, I love incorporating things like burlap and canvas and, you know, wood grain and all those fun things in with that. And the color palette for this is going to be perfect for that. It's perfect for fall. So you've got your kind of a rusty red plaid and then a black and white floral on the back. And I love the pink and rusty red. So again, maybe, you know, not your common color palette for fall. The rusty red is, the greens are, but you're going to see a pop of magenta in here as well, which is really fun. Okay, the next one we have is Swiss Dot and Diamond. Really pretty deep olive green with a white dot and then a black and white diamond on the back. Great for layering. Um, I'm going to be doing a fun ring bound tag project, I think, with this kit. So stay tuned. I'll kind of talk about that. Diagonal and dotted stripes. So a pink and white diagonal stripe. And then this fun, um, this feels very like 60s or 70s retro to me, this bubble stripe. And then you've got the mustard yellow branding strip. So fun pop of light pink, which you don't typically see in fall, but then matched with a mustard yellow, which is a common, common fall color. So I love that you can kind of mix and match and carry this kit into other months. If you've got leftover bits, don't be afraid to create in other, you know, seasons of the year. It's got a little bit of everything in there. So here's dots and dashes. So this kind of mustardy yellow, gold yellow, and white polka dot, and then this fun dash pattern. And it's got greens and mustards, a little pop of mint, pink. So it's got all of the colors, but they're very kind of muted on this paper. Love the branding strip with the leaves and acorns. How fun is that? And you're going to start to see a pop of that kind of magenta, purpley pink color that was pulled in to the collection this month. Next up, we have Floral Shadow and Gingham. So here is a really pretty floral kind of tone on tone. Really pretty. And then uh, Andrea, Retro Hit Mama. This just says you all over it. I don't know if you follow her. She does a gingham grid on her wall um, occasionally. I think she's gearing up to do that this year again. So this really reminds me of her accent wall. But so this is going to be the backside to the floral shadow, shadow paper. And the branding strip is this really fun kind of sketchy scallop. Lots of different things that we're seeing in the collection this month. Different kind of patterns and shapes and colors, colors that we haven't normally seen from Felicity Jane. Okay, so then you get two sheets of solid cardstock. These are slightly larger than 12 by 12, and they do have a scallop detail at the bottom. So if you want just a solid 12 by 12, you just cut that out, or you can cut, you know, from the top, and then you could have that scallop left on the bottom. The creative team does all kinds of creative things with these scallop papers. Um, these are great for dyes. I've used these with layering dyes in the past. I love these solid cardstocks. So you've got this rusty red and then this kind of, it's like a muted coral almost uh, pink. So that's going to be that one. And then this is that deep olive green with that gold mustard yellow on the back side. So there's a look at the pattern papers from Taylor. And if you didn't know, you can order these items um, a la carte. So if you don't want the whole kit in its entirety, you can just order just the papers, just the ephemera, things like that. So again, all those links will be down below for you guys to check out.
Okay, let's talk about the stamp set. So here is the Taylor stamp set, four by six clear stamp set. And it's got all of these fun border strip patterns. I love these. I think that they would be really fun to use with um, metallic embossing powders. You can ink them up maybe in different colors and kind of have a gradient to them. Um, perfect for tags. I know I'm going to mention that quite a bit. Um, I have a fun tag project planned for these. I think that the stamp set would pair perfectly with the Shea stamp set. Um, this is the Shea tag, so it creates tags, but the Shea also has a tag die set. So you could create borders on the bottom of these tags. You've got fun little bows and scallops, grids and lines, so lots of variety, but it would pair very well with the Shea tag die and stamp set. And you can see kind of similar to some of the borders that are in here, but they are going to be longer than the borders that are in the Shea um, tag stamp. And it looks like they're scaled a little bit different. So even the stripe is a little bit different. So some of you might be asking, you know, I already have this stamp set. Do I need this one? They are different. So the scaling is different. The patterns are different. And these are a little bit longer. And let me tell you, because I know I will get questions how long these are. They're about three and a half inches. So... You could do a three by four card and these are gonna fit along the bottom of a three by four card, no problem. So there is the Taylor stamp set. And of course, if your name is Taylor, you get a little personalized stamp as well. They always turn the name of the uh, collection into a stamp as well. So there is Taylor. Next up, we have some epoxy stickers. Now these are really fun. Most of the epoxy stickers that I've seen from Felicity Jane have either like these printed ones are a white base or it's just all color. These are a clear base that are printed with the images. So I don't know if you can see kind of the halo around it is actually clear. So you will be able to see um, through these, whatever you stick them on. So if you're sticking them on a pattern paper, you're going to see that pattern through the sticker. So just keep that in mind, but it's also a fun element that you can kind of play up um, and utilize when you create with it. So you've got a variety of different icons. Of course, you know, we're going into fall. So you've got those really pretty leaves. I love that. Like I said, that fuchsia kind of um, pinky purple color that they've incorporated, fun little rainbow. And then these, um, text boxes are clear as well. So like word fetty, but I don't know if you'll be able to see, you can see all the way through them. They are clear. How fun is that? So remember this beautiful, happy day. I would love to see a whole sheet of word fetty stickers clear like that. It's really fun and different. So, and you've even just got some simple little um, circles. If you're a card maker, you can use those epoxy dots. So lots of just fun elements on the epoxy stickers. You get 22 different icons on there. Next up is the Alpha. Uh, gold foil alphas are a favorite of mine. I carry this into Christmas, so this would be great for Christmas as well. So you might want to order a couple sets of these. Um, I think that gold alphas can be used anytime. So you've got this fun sans serif font. You are getting alphas and numbers and punctuation. It is a white... Um, chipboard base with gold foiling. So it is foiled. Uh, you got several of every letter and it's just a nice fun. I like these thinner fonts because you can spell out longer words, especially if you're somebody who's a Bible journaler. Don't be afraid to use these in your Bible journaling. It allows you to get, you know, a title into that two inch margin space, no problem. If you're creating in something like a traveler's notebook or your Bible or something like that, and the chipboard is too chunky for you, don't be afraid to peel off the back layers of the chipboard. So these are like layered up. So you can pull off those back layers and then just add your own adhesive and it will thin it out. Um, and then you don't have to worry about the chunk if you're creating in something like a traveler's notebook or a Bible. So there is the Taylor alphabet. I have an idea. This is one that you guys will be using a lot of. This is super exciting. I love when they include something in the kits that also is a part of the essentials line. So these are the essentials label stickers number two. So you'll remember a couple months back we had label stickers number one. So this is going to be a set of five different colors of labels. So it's just a sheet of different shaped label stickers. So they are um, cardstock stickers, which is really nice. They are a matte finish, which I really appreciate. So it is a little bit different than like the... Um, ephemera pieces that do have a little bit of a slick surface. It's not super shiny, but it is a little bit slick. This is totally matte, um, like paper feeling. So very easy to stamp on. You can use any of your um, inks, pigment inks, dye-based inks. It doesn't make a difference. They will hold on to um, this type of sticker. So you've got that kind of rosy pink color, rusty red. You've got that golden yellow, blush pink, and then that really pretty kind of purpley fuchsia color. Those are so pretty and so different. I love that pop of fuchsia in there. And so you've got, you know, notebook paper, dot grid, line grid, 
some more notebook paper, and then just some blank ones in there as well. And they are easily paired with the Essentials Label Stickers number one as well. And I love that they have little tabs so you can kind of store them all together um, and have those to use with a variety of projects. I love when they include some sequin mix and you get tons of sequin quit mix with this kit this month. So this is the Taylor sequin mix and it's all of these fun florals and little green leaves. So you could get really fussy with thread and kind of thread these onto a thread and maybe have, you know, an element. I've done that in the past or just use them for shaker pockets. I think I'll be doing some kind of shaker element. Uh, like I said, tag project. These are really fun to do uh, like an acetate tag with a shaker element on the inside. Love, again, that pop of fuchsia really makes this different from what you typically see for fall colors. So really fun there. All right, you got your washi tape. So they have changed the washi rolls, which is exciting. So they are a smaller roll. This is my favorite grid washi of all time, and it's from Felicity Jane as well. But so this is their standard roll and then their new roll. So you're getting the exact same amount of tape on the roll. It's just a smaller um, base insert piece and so it'll be easier to store which is really really nice it won't take up as much real estate so this is the taylor washi it is that really pretty rust red color i'm obsessed with that with a little polka dot uh, if you've been on my channel for any length of time you know that my preferred washi tape is something like this where it's just a very neutral pattern because i like to use my washi to layer or i use my washi to create my mini books and things like that and so i don't want the washi to be like a big, bold image or, you know, repeating images or um, like, for example, like text. I don't use washi that has like text and things like that. I like it to be kind of a neutral layering piece. So here is that kind of rusty red uh, tape. And they do sell this individually as well. You'll find that in the shop. Next up, we have the journaling cards. So don't forget your thank you card is sized the same as your journaling card. So you can use these as a journaling card if you're a pocket scrapbooker um, or you know whatever type of project that you use your journaling cards for, you can use your thank you card for that as well. So here are the three by four journaling cards. The Felicity Jane cards are really nice because they have the images and colors on the front and then the backside is just neutral. It's just dot and line, gray and white grid. So you don't have to pick a side, but it also gives you a kind of a neutral background if you wanna do more private journaling. I like to create little pockets and stick these in um, and then you can type or write on the back. Uh, or just if it's a card that you know you're not gonna use, you can use the backside with that grid and use it to stamp a sentiment on or layer behind a photo or something like that. So even if you're not a project life or a pocket scrapbooker, you can still utilize journaling cards. I try to always use them in unique ways in my videos so that you guys can get some ideas if you're not a pocket scrapbooker. So here are the three by four cards. Another nice aspect of the Felicity Jane ones is they usually allow room for customization. So like here, you've got this blank spot that you could stamp something in or even use one of those um, epoxy stickers will fit right in the inside of there so you can kind of customize that way we don't all end up with projects that look identical to each other <laughs> we can kind of customize these even the heart you could stamp something in there or add some um, die cut ephemera or something like that to dress it up so here are a look at those three by four cards again just a different variety different you know patterns you've got some notebooks so some that you know are more statement pieces some that have journaling prompts Love this grid notebook. It's super fun. fun. Floral pattern. And then there's that wonky sketch scallop that we saw on that branding strip. So there is a look at that. And this gives you an idea of the color palette. I will have color swatches over on my blog. So a lot of people ask about what inks match or paints, or gelatos, Neocolor 2s. I try to color match as best I can. Um, the Felicity Jane uses very unique colors. So it is a little bit tricky to color match. They're not always perfect for me, but it at least gives you an idea so that you don't have to dig through all your mediums. You can just go glance at those color swatches and pick the inks that might match. And then you can get to creating without having to dig through your own colors to decide what matches. So check out that blog post. It'll be linked down below for you guys. So there are those three by four journaling cards. And then last but not least, we have the die cut ephemera. So there you've got Taylor, super cute and casual and fun. Again, totally ready for fall. I don't know about you guys, where I live, we're still in like the 80s and 90s. So I'm like craving fall weather. <laughs> and all the stores have, you know, the chunky sweaters and the cardigans, and the boots, I'm ready for it. So here's a look at all the different ephemera pieces. There are just some standout elements in the ephemera this month. So you've got this fun 
um, journaling frames. So it's got some lines there that you can journal. Now these are um, like stiff chipboard and they are a matte finish. So you can stamp on these, but it's still a little bit slick. So I suggest stamping with stays on ink or archival ink. If you are going to be stamping on these, maybe use a, a stamp positioning tool. That way you're not slipping and sliding and that will give you the best impression when you stamp on there. Uh, I wanted to point out this tag, this fun uh, kind of library card printed on a tag, even just having a different type of notch at the top is really fun. So again, the attention to detail just blows me away with each collection that Felicity Jane comes out with. So you've got all these fun scallop pieces. Like we saw in that branding strip, here is that leaf and acorn pattern. And then you've got some florals in there as well. Of course, Felicity Jane is gonna have some pretty florals. Love this with the fall leaves. Uh, I did a project last month using one of their leaf um, cutting images for the silhouette cameo. So you can check out that project. I'll link it down below. So they do have a leaf cut file in the shop. So I don't know about you. I'm all about leaves in the fall. There is a fun little bow, little coffee cup. You've got some tabs. So for those of you who are Bible journalers, especially, I know we really appreciate having the tabs. Again, you can stamp on those. You've got some little labels there. I just noticed this. So last month there was a chapter nine. This has a chapter 10. I would be interested to go back and see if I've missed this this whole year, if there was a chapter in each one of these die cut packages. I don't know. Let me know if somebody has caught that, but I did notice there was a chapter nine last month and then a chapter 10 for October. Pretty creative there. All right. You got a little cozy there and then you've got a, a few hearts. I love the kind of earthy muted tones. I prefer earthier tones over like bright, vibrant tones. So I'm really loving the color palette this month. So there is a look at everything that comes in the Taylor kit. If you order the kit in its entirety, they do also have some bows. Um, I think that there are maybe some traveler's notebook inserts as well. Um, but there are a couple other items that I wanted to point out that was released with this release. So they've got a second washi uh, tape. So the tape that comes with the kit is this um, kind of rusty red polka dot pattern, but they also have a rusty red uh, plaid pattern, very similar to that uh, paper. So you can order that separate. And then they're bringing in these really fun binder rings. And you're probably like, Lindsay, what am I gonna do with that? So they have a collect, uh, an option that's got this mixed pack. So you get two of the gold, two pink and two white, or you can order a set of just the gold, a set of just the pink, instead of just the white. So on the site, they show the washi tape stored on here. So you can use those to store your washi tapes on. I have done that in the past, um, especially if I'm creating in a season. So for all my fall, I'll go through all my washi, pull all my fall washi, store them on a ring all together. So it's very easy to create. But I wanted to show you some projects that I've done with rings that maybe, you know, it's kind of different or out of the box for you. I know I'm, many people that follow me are either Bible journalers or do pocket scrapbooking or traditional, you know, eight and a half by 11 or 12 by 12 layouts. But let's think out of the box. Let's do some other paper crafting projects. So here are some other ways that I've used rings, ring bound albums. Here is where I took a traveler's notebook um, and deconstructed it. I've done this with several Felicity Jane notebooks as well. Take their standard traveler's notebook, rip out the staples, cut it apart, and then add rings to it. And this allows you to add chunk. So this is my fall project last year. This is not a Felicity Jane project, but I did incorporate some Felicity Jane um, elements in here. And this was just like a word study that I did or a gratitude project that I did for fall. Um, and so you can see adding the rings allows you to add tons of chunk and just different elements in there. Um, and it's just a different different way to create. So you could do photo journaling that way, maybe different prompts for daily projects. Um, like I said, I mentioned a tag ring. I really wanna do a tag project, which that Shea tag die set would be perfect for that. So this die set comes with the full tag. It also has some reinforcers and some other shaped tags and then some embellishing pieces in there. Um, and so you could cut out tags and do a ring bound tag album with these uh, rings and they're going to be colors that match the Felicity Jane products. You know, it's going to go along with the whole aesthetic of Felicity Jane. So this was just a daily project with different verses. So it was a verse on the back. I did some basic embellishment on the front. Um, this wasn't a Felicity Jane project, but you could use Felicity Jane prod products to create something very similar. You could do photo journaling, you could do verses, you could do quotes, um, maybe every day, something that you're thankful for, do a thankful project, something like that. Lots of different ways that you can incorporate that into a tag project. 
And then last but not least, this is a recent project that I did um, using some word cards um, and putting them on rings. And so you can stand this up and display it standing up, um, but it also allows you to take the cards out and then create on them. So you could use those scrapbook papers, those pattern papers, because they are nice and thick, you could create little cards and then create little... I don't know, mixed media journal type type pages. Maybe you just want to do, you know, decorative pages with a quote or a verse and then have that displayed um, out, you know, through the fall. And then using these rings allows you to hold it all together, but you can also take the pages out and work on them individually. So there were just a few ideas. They weren't necessarily Fel Felicity Jane projects. I will be doing a tag ring project for you guys using this kit, but I wanted to give you some ideas. If you saw the rings in the shop and were like, oh, what would I do with that? <laughs> there are some ideas for ways to use um, binder rings in your paper crafting. So definitely check out, I'll have the Shea um, tag set linked down below as well for you guys. So there is a look at the Taylor collection that was just released. Be sure to head on over to the shop and check out some of the other items, um, some of the bow clips and things like that that were released as well. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below for me. Check out my blog post for all of those close-up photos and color swatching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.